Um, hi everyone, uh, my name is Dan Brookman. I am the CEO of Airship and Toggle. Uh, it gives me great pleasure today to be joined by Johnny Stevens. Uh, Johnny is from Better Without. Um, he's previously worked for Tenkites, uh, which is a big uh, software business uh, involved in hospitality. Um, he left there last year. Um, he set up just before Christmas and launched with a new app called Better Without. Um, I was introduced just a couple of weeks ago by um, a shared friend, which is Charles Mobs. Uh, welcome to you, Johnny. Hello, thank you for having me on. Can you so, tell us a little so bit about you... Better Without? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Better Without uh, started last year, as you said. Uh, so we are an app for helping people discover low and no alcohol drinks. Um, so massive increase in terms of consumer behaviour, wanting to yeah find no and low alcohol drinks. And I just felt that I wanted to create a place where people could discover it, discover where they're found. Um, so I've created this, this app called Better Without. Great. And you talk about consumer behavior there obviously we've seen mm. quite a monumental shift uh, with uh, veganism and vegetarianism over the last year or over the last few years um, people are looking out for themselves a little bit more around well-being um, uh, mm. and how do you think over the last year um, that's evolved and moved forward and also how do you think that that's going to impact hospitality once it reopens do you think there's going to be a, a, a an increased demand yeah, definitely. That's a really interesting question. So absolutely, there is, you know, a, an increase in people looking at their, you know, well-being, whether that's mental or physical well-being. So, you yeah, know, no and low is a big, um, a big player in people looking at actually reducing that alcohol intake, not necessarily giving up completely, but actually just going, you know, that glass of wine in the evening or that beer on a Monday evening, can that be a non-alcoholic or alcohol-free? Um there's stats around sort of 30 uh, percent increase in terms of the, the number of people drinking no and low drinks it's you know, massive um as well people have been able to get it at home you know people have been able to get that choice very easily you know there's you know i can name probably 15 20 new brands as well that have come out i mean you only need to look in the last sort of since 2018 since the likes of seed lip have, have come out and you've got loads of players within the market you know, they, I spoke to someone the other day that tried 400 different non-alcoholic beers. I mean, that's yeah. amazing. So it, it's definitely something that, like you said, vegan and, you know, veganism, vegetarianism, actually it is a movement and people are looking at it to cut down what they're drinking. I think as well, because we've not been interacting so much with hospitality, you know, I guess that idea of having a drink, maybe not as much there. But actually, what will that do in the future? Because actually, people have discovered all these great drinks and they are drinking them because of the taste and flavour, not because of the alcohol. So it's you know very interesting to see where, where it's going to go there. Yeah, the products have definitely evolved. I mean, you know, I wouldn't mm. have dreamt of drinking a non-alcoholic beer, you know, um, a couple of years ago. And now I'll quite happily pick them off the shelf uh, and, yeah. and, you know, drink it for the taste um and, and what do you think that hospitality can do to help um drive up that demand and also meet that mm. demand because obviously there's good profits uh in meeting yeah. this and and if people you know are going out to the pubs i mean the whole industry and the sector's changed so much over the past few years um it's much more better quality now that you get from the food yeah. and the service and everything else and this is just part of that so how can they work um, how can they operationally, um, uh, when people visit, how can they drive up and meet the new demand, do you think? Yeah, so I, I think there's a couple of things. So the the availability of a variety of products is, is key. So, you know, not just having one non-alcoholic beer, maybe having two or three, and actually could you explore having a non-alcoholic sparkling wine, you know, really catering for all types of guests. So what do you think can hospitality do to um, drive up and also to meet that new demand as it opens, hopefully in the summer and people come flooding back in and, you know, they're looking, uh, what, what, what's your advice? Yeah. So I think there's a few things. I think having a good range of products is important, you know, not just having one 
beer and that you know that's almost stuck at the bottom of the, uh, or at the back of the fridge you're having a variety um you know find a bit like the craft beer you know there's loads of, of of different beers find different different products that are out there um but also not just you know don't just focus on beer you know there is non-alcoholic spirits non-alcoholic you know proseccos actually look at your current drinks range how can you go well we've got you know these types of wines you know make sure you've got one in each sort of category what we know is that the the you know it's good profit on these um items and and also consumers are willing to pay for them and you know the everyone i i speak to and who engages with the app you know they want more choice they're willing to pay what they would pay for alcohol so don't be scared of that um that you know that for me is definitely something and and embrace it you know i think people are you know got you know healthier um people may want to just you know have have a beer in the middle of you know in the middle of the day if it's a non-alcoholic beer you know even better people are driving so i for me it's just embracing what's out there see what's what's happened in the in the change and i'm always happy to sort of give some advice on you know what's happened because i think that for me, hospitality has been closed sort of on and off nearly a year now. Yep. The industry's moved massively then. The whole, not only the products, but also consumers. And, you know, I can see how it would be a bit scary to go, well, where do we start? But, you know, there are brands doing it really well. Um, you know, look at, you only need to look at like Lucky Saint, just got investment yep. this week. You know, how can you have a beer on draft? Um, make people feel very welcome. Don't flag it as non-alcoholic. I think that's the other thing. You know, yes, make sure people are aware of it, but actually not make a big song and dance of it because people just want to enjoy the drink for what it is, not necessarily always be, you know, a flag to say pointing at them for not drinking. Yeah, I think it's a really good point around the choice, you know, having having that multiple choice available across mm. uh, those different product ranges, you know, um, uh, eating out, dining out, it's in the experience. Um, you know, it's all part of that experience, isn't it? Uh, isn't it? I guess. Um, and just yeah, tell us about tell us about the app. Um, what's your plans with it? How yeah. far have you got with it? You know, how do people get yeah. it? Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, we launched uh, just before Christmas. Um, so we now are working with over 120 no and low brands. That's from all over the world. So it's massively grown. We've got a really good product base. Um, so it's an app, it's available on both uh, Android and, and Apple. Um, it's better without, if you search that, you'll, you'll find it. And yeah, download it, you'll see what we've put in the app is, you know, food pairing. So what drinks go well with certain foods? What, if you've got a non-alcoholic spirit, what does it pair well with? So we're really trying to look at actually, you know, an education platform, learn more about the, the, the brands behind it. What we're doing as well is we've got the ability for hospitality to put their sites on the app, right. um, showcase what drinks they they serve. So that's a big one, you know, for me, actually helping them highlight to the non-alcoholic drinkers what's available. So, you know, being able to go on there and see my local pub, what do they serve? Um, or I'm going out for dinner tonight, um, you know, what do they serve? Or, or even I want to go and try x drink on draft where do i find it so we're we're starting to build out that hospitality network so anyone that's that's listening if they want to get involved and um, you know do do let us know um, so an but, operator yeah, can come to you with their estate upload it to the app mm. um uh, yeah. you, you know list out what they sell uh, and then yeah. make yeah. it easier for the consumers to to find find those products basically locally to yeah. them. that's great great yeah. Um, brilliant okay um that's great um it's been really nice chatting to you uh i mean it's Thank um you. it'll be fascinating to see that that grow now because there's no doubt it's going to grow as a channel um and more and more people um are going going to adopt it uh, as well so um really nice chatting to you um and how people how do people get in touch with you yeah absolutely so download the app have a look um but our website is better without dot app um, or email me at johnny at betterwithout.app. So that's Johnny, J O N N Y. Um, so yeah, come and uh, have a chat if I can help in tool in terms of looking at range, um, then more than happy to do that. Amazing. Thanks very much. Cheers, Johnny. Nice Brilliant. talking to you. Thank Cheers. you.